Here we're going to talk about how to add some simple seams onto this mesh and then we're going to use that to do a really cool trick in adding some wrinkles in volume. So first what we want to do, if you think about the seams on the clothes you have, you know they're located on the side and on the shoulders here and we're just going to get right to it. So I have a mesh that's prepared where I like to create a seam here. I also have it in mirror mode so it goes on both sides and I don't have to worry too much about um, doing both sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, my loop right there and then I'm going to come in, select again and I'm pressing shift alt while I select that so I can get the seam in there. Let me come over here and get this as well and I'll take this seam on the side and I also want to get this down here. And let me just go ahead and add seams around the armhole just for kicks. So now I have this here. Here will be my collar. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit A. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. And so now what I'm going to do is hit U for mark seam. And I'll mark it. Now we have it marked here. Let's go into our UV editing tab if you select this right here you can get to your UV let me go ahead and apply my mirror now that the work has been done and so then I'll go ahead and hit tab you can see my seams are still intact and over here and then what I'm gonna do is select all you and unwrap and now they are laid out nicely here so that's a nice way of creating your seams onto your UVs. Now I'm going to show you a trick on adding a little bit of volume to your uh, jacket. Let's say his for example, I'm actually going to create a panel over here and this right here. Let me take these two off. So this will be the shoulder panel pad and I'm going to go ahead and mark a seam. From here, what I'm going to do is select all again and then I'm just going to unwrap it so that I have that extra seam. What we're going to do is subdivide these a few times. Just come in here and subdivision surfaces. I'm just going to apply these a couple of times. Make sure you're in, um, you're going to be in object mode. I'm just going to put this on so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and apply and then I'm going to actually do another one. Another subdivision. Apply it. And this is just a little technique I'm using. Uh, I might be doing it the long way. But now if I go ahead and hit tab you can see my seams are still pretty intact in there which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to actually subdivide it one more time just because it really doesn't matter at this point. I'm not trying to make a low poly model of this. So again, I need to be in object mode. So there we go. I'm going to go back into this and let's take off. Okay. So with this trick, what we're going to do is we're going to actually be in our sculpt mode. So we're going to go into sculpt mode. And the really cool trick about here is we're going to use face sets. So in sculpt mode, you see face sets and then we're going to initialize face sets by UV seams. And so now we have our face sets from our UVs. And then next we want to go down to our cloth filter. We have our cloth filter selected and then we're going to make sure we come in here into our auto masking and set your face set boundaries. And what that will do is it's going to take the uh, boundaries of each of these and kind of inflate them so we can create some creases here. So now with the cloth filter, you can come in and I'm going to press N to open this and go to my tool or you can go over here. Um, to your tool set you can come here to your tool set and then set this to inflate and so now when i move my mouse slightly to the left or right 
you're gonna see what happens really cool here and so but I don't want it to affect everything so uh, it takes a little bit of trickery but let's do this and so I just kind of go back and forth and just kind of getting a little bit of these seams here and that's too much of a fold and actually what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna go into um, inflate actually I'm gonna go into so I'm gonna go into mesh filter and then here I'm gonna go into inflate we can also do that in the toolbar right here and if you prefer the other you can also do it in this and so we're gonna have um, the inflate option here and I'm just gonna kind of pull my mouse to the left a little bit I'm actually using a pen and I'm just gonna create this little crease here and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and do sharpen which will kind of bring them in and squeeze them up really nice see that but be careful because you also have some edges in there that might get a little bit um, pulled out but we can always go in sculpt mode and fix that now for the next cool part I'm gonna go into the cloth filter and then I'm gonna come up to use face sets and with this I'm gonna be able to actually influence each of these so while I'm while I have my mouse over this because I have my used face sets and just to be sure I will come up here and hit face sets too now I'm just gonna move my mouse to the left or right and then there we go and then very sensitive here so I can actually come in and decrease my my mass and my strength a little bit so that way it doesn't do too much and then I'll just do a combination you can see now I'm getting these really interesting nice folds here so I could just kind of do that and then when I move it to the right so let's move this over here I'm actually gonna take my mirror off when I move this to the right you can see I start getting wrinkles but then I move it back to the left to kind of bring it out I can also move yeah you see that so it's inflating and just giving that real nice puffiness and I definitely you know recommend using a pen if you can but you can do it with a mouse I'm gonna come here and do the same thing to the right and then drag to the left get some puff out there look at that same here and then what I'll do later is I'll take it in and sculpt some additional details but this kind of gives you those really cool folds uh, let's go ahead and do this one you see that so now you see we have this really nice looking jacket in fact I can play around with this let's see what really happens when we do this and this is this definitely just takes some time to play with but remember you can always go back and sculpt but what I'm doing is using this to kind of give it some cool natural folds if I come a lot to the right and then I move to the left and pick it up then you see I get even some more things going on here um, it really depends the, the left will inflate it a lot more and the right will deflate it and so you can use that to get some very interesting interesting looks and if I go ahead and take this off now and I come to face sets and face that from visible now you see I have a nice little jacket that I can start working with uh, if I take off my cavity you can kind of see you see it looks really nice and so you can go in then uh, if you want and come into your crease brush but from here you know I can come in and do some sculpting so that's just a little quick way on adding some wrinkles and folds to your jacket